The Metrics Facility Support Quoting Program collates a full in-house management system for ease of access and review in a central location and has a natural flow process to create a professional tender submission for the client on behalf of your company. The index section, listed down the left-hand side, forms part of every screen and enables a quick reference to all sections of the program. The program is easy to navigate using a system of tabs, drop-down boxes and buttons. The program remembers what you are currently working on, so if you move from the premises screen to the owner screen, it will open on the owner of the premises that you are looking at, in this case asset management, and will list all premises owned or managed by this company. The setup lists have been pre-formatted for your convenience with the current statutory rates for both states and job services. However, you can add or edit them to suit your company or business operating costs and practices. Current pay rates and rate types are set up for all states and nominated regions within states. Rate changes can be updated or added into the setup list and will be reflected in all new quotes. The rates in your existing FSPs will remain unchanged unless you choose to update them. All new national rates, types and allowances can be added or changed state by state to give you the flexibility within your organisation. As previously demonstrated in the setup list, we have already changed the rate for Security 3. To update a current facility you service to the new rate, open the shift screen for that facility and click on the rate type. As the day shifts are identical, we can use the copy shift function to update them to the new rate. It will automatically change the rate value and recalculate. Now we will demonstrate the ease in which shifts can be entered. To enter a day shift, you only need to enter the times and the rate. Breaks are automatically deducted for you. The day copy function allows you to quickly enter similar day shifts. After you have completed the first day shift, including daily and weekly allowances, Click on the day you want to copy and select the days you want to paste to and then click copy. The information is automatically filled in for you and all weekend penalty hours are properly distributed. It even copies the daily allowances for you. Harry works reduced hours on public holidays. Click on the public holiday tab and adjust the hours worked. Then refresh. The system will automatically recalculate the hours and value. The duplicate shift button is a particularly useful function as it allows you to enter similar shifts very quickly. As Harry has an assistant working in the car park, we will duplicate his shift. The shift is copied with all allowances, overtime and public holiday details and then given the next shift number in order. We will edit the label and adjust other details, such as removing the second in charge weekly allowance to finalise the new shift. To enter overtime, click on the shift, then click on the overtime tab and enter the overtime hours to the required day. Then click on the shift screen and reduce the normal hours for that day by the same amount. Once you have entered the shift, you can click on the line graph tab and see at a glance the coverage you have. The yellow section is the business trading hours, black illustrates the shift coverage, and all breaks are shaded. 
Public holiday coverage is orange. Mini line graphs allow you to view a summary of all shifts inputted into a roster per service. In this case, retail. Now we will demonstrate how to input a mixed shift. Two days are dispersed to night and retail, which will be shown in the retail section of the line coverage graphs. And three days are dispersed to X Trade McDonald's, which will be shown in the food court section of the line coverage graphs. In this way, you can control both the disbursement and line coverage for each day of a shift. To add the shift's job description, click on the Job Descriptions tab and click the Show Job Descriptions button. Choose one of the pre-formatted job descriptions and copy the required duties and responsibilities. Then, Paste them into the job description section for this shift. Because it is a mixed shift, we will take parts from both food court duties and retail duties. On completion of the data entry for all shifts nominated, you now click onto the Facility Service Program in the Index section to finalise your costing. The program will automatically display the FSP you are working on. This screen displays all shifts inputted and shows the total value for labour for that facility. At the top of this screen are a series of tabs to be completed in order to finalise your FSP. Additional holiday labour covers public holidays, additional holiday peak trading hours, and subcontractors hours if applicable. Disbursement. The system automatically disperses the hours and costs according to your allocation of hours for service in the shift screen. However, you can manually override the automatic disbursement. Click Yes to override. Select via the drop-down box Areas for Disbursement. Then reallocate by either percentage or hours. Click Recalculate. Actual and manual hours must be equal. On costs are the statutory costs for each state. Click the default button and all percentages pertaining to the state that the facility is located in will be displayed. Periodical. You have the choice to either include the cost in the base fee or to price it separately. In this example, it will be reported separately. Equipment. If you require disbursement of equipment costing to areas of service, click Yes. Then type in the item and choose the area to disperse to via the drop-down box. Input the total value of equipment and the percentage allowances for depreciation, lease and repairs and maintenance. If it is not required, click No and just add the total value allowance and your nominated percentages. Sundries. In this screen, select items via the drop-down boxes and then enter the annual cost. These items are extracted from your setup list. Uniform costing. Input the dollar allowance value for full-time or part-time staff. The system will automatically calculate the total amount and display the summary of total sundry cost, inclusive of the equipment. Public Liability and Risk Management has the provision for you to input your percentage allowance for each item listed. Admin and Profit. This screen will display a summary total of all components of costing and allow you to nominate your percentage cost for administration and profit and then apply the statutory GST percentage. 
This is a visual analysis where you can revisit your costing and make adjustment if required prior to finalising your FSP. Notes. You can keep a journal of in-house notes for this FSP. Note sections are also included for owners and premises individually. This is a useful tool if other key office personnel need to look up specific details. Specifications. The system has a list of specification types with groups and items. To add FSP work specifications, click on the Add Specs button and select the groups you require. The button functions allow you to select all in a group or select individual items. On completion, click the OK button and click the Recalculate button on the FSP screen to refresh. Professional image reports are automatically generated for your client presentation. They are a useful tool for your on-site management and head office record keeping. Quotation Price Breakdown This is an itemised breakup of all costs involved in the contract fee, outlining key sections of costing. Disbursement of Costing is a disbursement of contract fee for ease of budget assessment. Staff roster shows all shifts, times and days allocated to each employee. Periodicals are a list of all program works, displaying type and frequency of service. You have a choice to include it or separate it from the base contract fee by selecting yes or no. Line coverage graphs. Versatile line graphs are automatically produced, either daily or weekly. The information in the line graphs is extracted from the service that you have inputted in the shift screen. Wage summary is a summary of all inputted labour cost. Specifications. Site specifications are for all works to be carried out. Specifications can be tailored to your specific need or new ones can be generated for future use. They can be used for shopping centres, office complexes, security, hospitals, schools, airports. The list is endless. Job descriptions. Tailored job descriptions can be entered for each shift. Pre-formatted job descriptions are available for various tasks and provide a useful tool for on-site operations and also demonstrates planning and diligence for client presentation. Payslips and timesheets are also available. It is identified that some clients have their own format for you to itemise your total costs when tendering. The Metrics FSQS program will qualify your costing and your operational plan for the client. For added reliability, the data is regularly saved automatically as you construct or edit your work. The system is easy to back up, which gives you extra security of your data. To back up, insert your memory stick and drag the Metrics FSQ folder to it. We recommend that you back up your data onto a memory stick or CD in case of hardware failure or other mishaps. On the purchase of the Metrics Facility Support Quoting System, you will receive a detailed user manual and be entitled to technical support. You can access QA format documentation for administration and operational reporting from the Metrics website and use them in the day-to-day -day running of your company. Metrics provides comprehensive support facilities, consultancy services and documentation for your business. Metrics delivers a full range of service to give your business strength. Thank you for your time and please feel free to ask any questions.